Miserable weather was the main factor on semi-final day of the Bateman Cup. In Dublin it was UCD at home to Galwegians, while in the other semi it was Cork Con playing hosts to Queen's. The adverse weather conditions made it extremely difficult for referee Nigel Carell and both teams from the off, but Galwegians started a little better, but they couldn't convert their possession into points. In a very physical encounter, the Division 2A leaders kept UCD at bay with some committed defence, but they leaked an 18th minute penalty when their scrum was put under huge pressure by UCD and the front row crumbled. James Thornton stepped up and converted from 30 metres out. The ball was as greasy as it gets and every score was going to be vital. Galwegians were awarded a three-point opportunity just four minutes after Thornton's opener. Weedens out half Ross Shocknessy was narrowly off target with his kick from an awkward angle. But he was able to level the scores in the 25th minute with a much better strike. The students then seized the initiative with 12 minutes left before the break. Their scrum half, Jamie Glynn, breaking free from an enterprising mall and driving over for the opening try just to the left of the posts. Go on, Jamie. Thornton added the conversion. Shocknessy took another shot at goal in the 32nd minute when referee Corral awarded Weegens a penalty just outside the UCD 22 metre line. He was on target, keeping his side well in contention as half time approached. Gaul Weegens applied real pressure in the UCD 22 late on in the first half, and even though the hosts coped well with their probing attacks, the persistence of Gaul Weegens paid off when left winger Ronan Moore crossed the line well into injury time. Shocknessy added the extras for a 13 points to 10 lead at the break. Galwegians were offered the first scoring opportunity of the second period after 53 minutes, but Shocknessy's fourth attempt on goal dropped well short. This let off helped to spark UCD back into life. After a patient build up, Scrum half Jamie Glynn cleared a speedy pass to Thornton, who fed second row Cawley. Then on to centre Alex Kelly, who supplied the final pass to fullback Fletcher to finish off a lovely move by touching down wide on the right. Thornton's conversion was pushed to the right of the posts by the wind, leaving UCD with a two point lead. Thornton then brought his personal tally to eight points when a long-range penalty sailed between the posts. Yes! UCD managed to force themselves into the opposition territory again and forced a penalty when Weegens were blown for going off their feet at the breakdown. Another three-pointer from Thornton was the outcome and with two minutes to play UCD looked home and dry with an eight-point lead. But Galwegians continued to battle. They recycled the ball on the UCD line numerous times until Connor Muldoon crossed the whitewash well into injury time. Winger Kieran Gaffney slotted the conversion for good measure, but unfortunately for the men from the West, it proved too little too late. In the final of the Bateman Cup, it will be UCD taking on the holders Cork Khan, who overcame Queens in the other semi at Temple Hill. At Belfield Bowl, it finished UCD 21, Galwegians 20. 541A17 Ulster Bank Rugby Force helping your club matters